it's Stella from All of Our Korea. Welcome to All of Our Korea. Okay, how are you guys? Um, I just went to spa and came back with my mom and I prepared quite urgently. So sorry, too late for six minutes. So anyways, let's get started. Today, so we will start, we will start Korean grammar in use, but I will explain in English and I will give you some um, practical, practical sentences. Hi, Chloe, Melissa, Melissa. So we will study Korean with practical sentences and I'll give you full examples. So don't worry about the grammar. This will be quite short and easy. So we will, hello, Sagatia. Hi, Vishaka. So we will study together. Okay, let's go to my channel and check. Yeah, so if you forgot to press like button, please press the right like button now so that we can boost this video so that many people watch it and study all together. Okay, so could you give me just one minute so that I can send my URL to a friend who wants to study Korean? It would not take more than one minute though, so please wait for me. Okay, in the meantime, I tell you uh, what we will learn today. So, introduction to the Korean language. So, first, Korean sentence structure. So, there are two basic and very commonly used Korean sentence structure. Even though we have some particles which shows what is subject, what is object, and what is verb, and what is predicate, but we do have certain type of sentence structure. So this will make you um, easy to make Korean sentence and it's better to understand because we have common uses of some sentence structure. So that's why I want to teach you. If you know just two types of Korean sentence, it will be way easy to understand what your Korean friends say and when you read something, okay? So anyways, um, Okay, now I go to my Facebook page and I copy, copied this URL and then paste so that people can watch and... Hi, Annyeong! Annyeong! Okay, so... Okay. I just posted this on my, on my page, Facebook page. Good, good, good. Okay, and... Then I should share this. F5. And then I'll share this URL, this post, to many different groups. I know um, that group managers would delete it soon. I know it. Delete it, that's fine. Yeah. Um, Korean stru sentence structure, structure, study, free live Korean, like, no, free live Korean, okay, free Korean class is on air, you are L. My feeling. What is my feeling now? Mm, luck is on my side. Lady Luck is on my side. Good. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Here we go. Good. Hi, Nisya. You're here today. I'm happy. Whoa. <laughs> Did you study the last last night class one? What am I saying? Did you study the last night one? Yeah? I'm pretty sure you know that expression. Hi, Meroka, annyeong! 
안녕하세요. I'm glad you're here again. Yay! Okay, guys, don't forget to press like button before we start class. Thank you in advance. Okay, so I'll share so that more people can study together. Here we go. Here we go. Group. Groups. Groups. Korean study. Korean study. Korean friends. Yes. And then next one. The other group. Korean study one. Hi, Virginia Star. Hi, I think you're first here. Nice to meet you. How are you? I think you were here before, right? I think I your name. I was watching it. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, you can watch it after. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure you know that expressions we learned yesterday. You'll be fine. But it's better writing and practice. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I should... Mm. Share some more places. Some groups look a bit similar and different day by day. I can't remember. <laughs> Let me just share. <laughs> Let me just share. I have no idea. So, non Korean group, Korean friends. Yay. Okay, okay. Somebody talked to me, so I'll just copy and paste. Hey, I'm doing live streaming. Come visit. Hmm? <laughs> okay, so I think it's enough for sharing. Okay, let's start. So, do you know about Korean sentence structure? Korean sentence structure? Hmm. So, first, uh, I will tell you the easiest one. Subject and verb, and which we can say uh, like predicate. That's first sentence. That most of Korean sentence structure is is in. Okay, let's see. So subject will be there as just subject alone, or subject and plus subject particle. Okay, subject plus subject particle and verb and as the um, shape and the form of predicate. Okay, so we will learn it after this. The subject plus subject particle, but you can simply take it out. So when you see a sentence without subject particle, 은느니가, then you can think that first one you see in, in front of uh, the, st the sentence starting with is subject. You can just assume that's subject. So let us start. For example, um, so my Korean name is Hyunkyung. So I'll write Hyunkyung. Okay, Hyunkyung. Okay, this is Hyunkyung, and that's my Korean name. Hyunkyung. Iga. Here. 형경이가 은느니가 okay in this this time okay so 형경 and then 이가 이가 this part is uh, subject particle now so 형경 is subject now and then without without space you will write 형경이가 all together okay 형경이가 and 이가 here means subject particle okay 현경이가 so here you can see who is subject right but if you take 이가 which is subject particle it's just saying 현경 
and then say something which is verb okay and then I will say 자요 자요 so 자요 came from 자다 plus predicate 요 okay and as I always say in verb you will take 다 out and then put predicate after so 형경 자요 even if it's a bit um, unnatural but because almost all sentence starts with cons no, not consonant, subject, subject. So 형경, which you see in front of the sentence, is subject now. So 형경 is subject now, and then 자요 is verb. 형경 자요. 자요 came from 자다 plus 요. You take 다 out, and then you put 요 after that. 자요. So 형경이가 자요. 형경이 자유 here 형경이 자유 형경이 형경이 자유 okay and 자유 means uh, why did I say what 자유 means okay 자다 means means sleep so okay let's say <laughs> so I am not 형경 I would say so here is 형경 and somebody asked, where's 형경? 형경이 어디 있어? 형경이 뭐해? 형경이 뭐해? 뭐, what? 해, doing. So 형경이 뭐해? So what is 형경 doing now? So yeah, I will say, because 형경 is sleeping, my friend 형경 is sleeping there, so I will say, um, 형경이 자요. We actually do not say 그녀 자요. So okay. So after you call someone's name 형경, so that person is woman. Okay, here Hyunkyung is woman. Hyunkyung. <laughs> After you say that person's name, you will just use she or her or he or his, you know. But we say that person's name. That person's name. After that, yeah, many times. So Hyunkyung. You need to remember, we don't really say 그녀, she. We do not say 그녀. Well, if you translate she in Korean, you will see 그녀, probably. But we don't say she as 그녀. And so, okay, we use 그녀, but it's like, she is my love. You know, it's like a bit, a bit cheesy and a bit uh, too romantic thing, you know, like, uh, Ogul Togo, we call Ogul Togo, it's like, oh, that's too much, and I feel like, ooh, ew. So we say Ogul Togo, and like, 그녀 is used in poem, or some music, or some, you know, like, romantic thing. So, 그녀는, like, 그녀는, my dad lady, that's 그녀. So anyways, so you will just call that person's name most of the time, or 개. 그 사람 is more commonly used. Okay. 그 사람. 그 means that. 사람 is person. Okay. So we call 그녀 or 그. So 그녀 is she. 그 is he. So we will say 그 사람 means that person. 그 사람 is better. Okay. So anyways, 형경이 자유. 형경이 자유. Is basic um, commonly using, commonly being used sentence in Korean. Okay, and then okay. So next one, subject, object, verb, predicate. Okay, that's next sentence you will use the most. So, 형경이 밥? No, 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 okay. Mm, 공부해요. Okay, here. Hyun Kyung 
the hyunggyeong here is subject. Now, e means predicate, not predicate, sorry. Okay, subject particle, subject particle, 공부. Okay, 공, 공부. Kumbu study. Kumbu. And here, um, object particle ul is dismissed. Mm -mm. We don't use ul sometimes. Okay, so kumbu heo. Yeah. Do and so, 형경이 공부해요. So, which is like, 형경이 지금 뭐해? 형경이 지금 뭐해? So, where, where is 형경? Where is 형경? 형경이 어딨어? Oh, I don't know. 모르겠는데요. 그래? 음, is she? 음, 찾아봐. Find her. Okay, mom. 알겠어요, 엄마. 아, 형경, you are here. 형경이 여기 있구나. 형경, you are here. Yeah, what are you doing? 형경이 뭐해? 형경이 뭐해? 어, 나 공부해. 어, 나. 어, I. 공부해. Studying. I'm studying now. Okay. And then she go to mom and say, 엄마, 형경이 공부해요. 엄마, mom, 형경이. Subject, 공부. Object, 해요. Verb. Yay! That's the most commonly used sentence structure in Korea. Should I finish today's class? <laughs> I'm joking. So, um, so, do you want to ask something? Or do you have any sentence you want to make in Korea so that we can practice together? Nobody here? Nobody here? Nobody? Okay, in the meantime, nobody's here. I will drink my beautiful lemon tea. So, how to introduce? Choose someone and ask what they do for work. Okay, so introduce someone. Mm, introduce, introduce. Okay, are in Korea used like present, past, and future tense? Yes, yes, we do say that. So first of all, I'll, I will tell you how to introduce someone and ask what they do for work. So, okay, first in, introduce someone. So introduce someone means yourself or do you want to introduce somebody else who is next to you to somebody you know already? Okay, so let's start from introduce, introduce oneself. Okay, introduce oneself. Okay, follow me. 안녕하세요. Okay, 안녕하세요, which is hi. 안녕하세요. 제 이름은 제 is my 이름은 제 space 이름은 이름 What is 이름? Does anybody remember this? 제 이름 이름 is name 제 이름은 That's it, PSTV, you did a great job. Yeah, that's it. 제 이름은 subject particle. Subject particle. 제 이름은 어, 신면경입니다. 신면경, which is my name, okay. 입니다. 
입니다. 에리케이트. 안녕하세요. 제 이름은 심현경입니다. And most of the time we are uh, we say about my our age, but nowadays people do not really reveal their age, and it's kind of um, impolite to ask someone's age before that person introduce or say. So it's totally up to you, but you don't need to say your age. Okay. Honestly, Korean and Asian, well, not only Asian, there, there could be some Western or some people, but uh, we do heard that we look quite young than our age. So, yeah, imida is it is. Yeah, imida. But it's, you can just remember it as predicate, which I will teach you soon. Anyways, so okay, 제 이름은 심현경입니다. And you can you can say your name as just um your given name and then family name because we are educated that uh, foreigners' name comes their given name first and then their family name comes after. So we already know that. So we you don't need to change it. Then maybe that person will call you with your family name. <laughs> so anyways. 안녕하세요. 제 이름은 심영경입니다. And then if you met that people and that person for the first time, then you'll say um, 저는. And you may look obviously foreigner, so people would curious about your nationality. So you explain your country first. So we learned that. We studied this yesterday. Okay. So who can answer this? Who can answer this? I write in English and then you need to write in Korean here. Um, who can write? We studied yesterday. I'll give you one minute. I'll give you one minute. And in the meantime, I'll go to the fridge and bring my macaron because I forgot that. Can I? Okay, so I'll see who is first, who is, who is the most clever person here. Okay, see you soon. See you soon. Ah, Elizabeth. Ah, Elizabeth! Ah, Elizabeth! Elizabeth! You know this, guys? Ah, Elizabeth! 
everybody, you have to watch. We have to watch a movie, Three Idiots. Yeah, it's really funny. Okay. Oh, good, good. Okay. Now, PSTB, I think you used Google Translator. I didn't, I didn't teach you that. You did a um, good expression, but it's not something I taught you. Okay. Okay, Imni, that is it. Yeah, okay. Krawa, Melissa, me, but I have problem in writing. Okay. Maybe Korean, you know, uh, that Korean typing system. Haha, okay. The text that only write is didn't come, come here. Mm, okay. So, 나는 영국에서 왔어. Okay. So, 저 알제리 사람이에요. <gasps> Yeah, that's good. Crow Melissa, you did a great job. 맞아요, 잘했어요. 맞아요, that's right. 맞아요, that's right. 잘했어요. 잘했어요, 잘 means well. 했어요, did it. 잘했어요. Well done, you did a great job. Woo. Okay. So, Indonesia 사람이에요. Yes, he said that's right. Very good. Okay, so let's remember this. 저는 country, 나라, 사람이에요. 저는 country, 나라, 사람이에요. Okay, so 저는 Okay, because I'm from Korea, so I'll write down 한국 한국 사람 이에 한국 사람이에요. 저는 한국 아 Okay, so here Yeah. Okay, so again, I will write again. 저는, and then country. 사람. Okay. Oh, 한국 사람 왔구나. 안녕하세요. 한국 사람이시네. Hi, 안녕하세요. Hi. <웃음> 저는 한국 사람, 이 한국 사람이에요. Okay, like this. 저는 한국 사람이에요. That's it. And then, so PSTV, you are from UK because you said 영국. 저는 영국 사람이에요. Okay, 저는 영국 사람이에요. Okay, 저는 영국 사람이에요. And this year, if you put 저, this will make it more clear and good. Well, Indonesia 사람이에요 is totally fine. But if you use I, I, that would be better, okay? 저, 저는 Indonesia 사람이에요. And this time, you are introducing yourself. So it's your self-introduction. So you say, 안녕하세요. 제 이름은 심현경입니다. 제 이름은 심현경이에요. Either way is fine. 저는 음, 음, 사람이에요. It's fine. And there is another expression. Yeah. Okay. 저는 Okay. Your country name. 저는 음, 음, 에서 에서 왔어요. 왔어요. Okay. Came. Okay. Come. Ot. Okay. Ot. Which means um, past tense. Yo. Predicate. Chonin for example Chonin Han Kugeso Wasoyo Chonin Han Kugeso Wasoyo Chonin Indonesia Eso Wasoyo Chonin Yong Kugeso Wasoyo Chonin Brazil Brazil Eso Wasoyo Chonin Japan Ilbon Eso Wasoyo Chonin as I said, Iceland. <laughs> 저는 아이슬란드에서 왔어요. 
에서 에서 저는 음음 에서 왔어요 음음 country name 에서 왔어요 okay so either way is fine and we we are learning another expression to say your nationality okay and then 안녕하세요 제 이름은 심현경입니다 저는 한국 사람이에요 or 저는 한국에서 왔어요 So far, did you get all people? My students, did you get all? Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? Mm -hmm. Okay. 저는 영국 사람이에요. And then most of time we say 만나서 반갑습니다. <목소리> 만나서 came from 만나다. And you take da out. And 만나다 means meet. To meet somebody, 만나다, and then 다 out, and 만나 means meet. So, reason because of because I met you, 만나서 반갑습니다. Came from 반갑다. 반갑다, you will take that out and then 씁니다, which is predicate. 반갑, 반갑, 음, 반갑, uh, to be pleased. 반갑습니다, 반갑습니다, predicate. 만나서, 반갑습니다. And then, 친하게 지내요. 우리. 우리 means, we. 친하게. Oh, what did I press? Okay, oh, still here. 우리 친, 친하. Okay. 어, 친하게 친하게 means okay 친하게 means uh, familiar close by be close by be close by I need dictionary again 친하게 친하게 Close to, ah, be on intimate term. Okay, so friendly, close to, intimate, be intimate. Close to, um, be intimate with someone. Okay, 친하게 지내, 지내요. 지내요 came from 지내다. 지내다, get along with, get along with, 지내다, and then da is out now, 친하게 지내다, 친하게 지내요, predicate. 우리 친하게 지내요, 우리 친하게 지내요. Uh, 바, 만나서 반갑습니다. 반갑습니다 is more formal. Is formal. So, right. So, 습니다 is more formal. 요 is casual than that. 습니다, longer, form, okay, formal, more formal. 요, shorter, more casual. Okay? Longer, the harder. 
이렇게 만나서 반갑습니다. 이렇게 뭐 만나서 반갑습니다. 반가워요. 5월 만나서 반가워요. 계속. Yeah. Got it? So this is short and easy self introduction. And when you want to introduce um, your friend to somebody, 안녕하세요. Okay, 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. Hi. 이쪽은. Okay, you call. Okay, how should I say? Okay, I have my friend cup. Lemon tea, okay. Uh, my friend, lemon tea, and then I have macaron. I have my macaron, and okay, I know. Uh, okay, I have known this lemon tea for three years, and um, lemon tea never met my macaron friend. So, I want to introduce macaron to my lemon tea. So, okay, first of all, I call this person. Okay, so I I say. Lemon C. Okay, lemon C. Lemon is lemon C. So, was it suffix yesterday? Suffix. Yeah, suffix lemon C. 이쪽은 이쪽은 Mm. I killed macro. 이쪽은 E means this. Itogun side. Actually, itogun means this side. But the whole meaning of itogun is this person. This person. Itogun. Macaro. Okay, this is name. C. Macaron C. Suffix. Macaron C. Yeo. Yeo is better. Yeo. Predicate. Itogun. Macaron C. Yeo. Itogun. Macaron C. Yeo. So does that logic follow with 감사합니다? Could you say 감사마요? <laughs> so 감사 감사합니다. Okay, 감사합니다. 감사해요. So this this time, okay, you use verb in different way. 감사해요. So there are way many different way of using verb as predicate so before we learn it learn about it it's pretty hard to understand and explain so by now for now it's better just memorizing it as sentence and expression itself because um every single language has their own let me let me write let me find the word in dictionary So all every single language has its autonomy. So autonomy of language is pretty unpredictable at some point and predictable some way. So some okay, grammar can explain many things, but in at some point, um, there will be some expressions that is not exactly following abide by written rules because just grammar came from language uses and then they found some logics and how they are used but how the language is actually used is different because using 
language is being used itself is language and grammar is a bit more like subject of that derived from that language you know what i mean so here 감사해요 you need to remember as 감사해요 okay not 감사 감사마요 no 감사해요 this time 감사해요 okay so all right 감 감사해요 thank you That's my brother talking outside. Can you hear that? Like, <laughs> Hi, this card. Could you press the like button? Yay! If Macron was a close friend, you could say Macaruna. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Macaruna, no. Macaron a. Macaron a. Because we don't say macaron, macaron, so macaron is ng, on, mm, mm, mm. When a word ends up with ng, ng, that sounds ng, ng, so ma, so maca. Can you see the last character? L, o, ng. Okay, l, or l, plus o. Mm. Long, okay? Macaron, macaron. So last consonant sounds um here. Macaron. So macaron a. Ah. But here you you introduce somebody to your friend. So it's quite a formal situation. So there's no point to say someone if the friend is not your daughter or son or a very young student of yours, of you, then there's no point to call that person in such close way. You know what I mean? So, makarunga is not that recommended this time, okay? So, you will say makarung si. Mm. Yeah, so if that person is close enough, you don't need to use si here. That person is someone you know, want to um, introduce to another person, then C is good. All right. Macaron C. And. Yeah. So I can do that. I can do that. Okay. So here, C is. Okay to be left out. This is optional. Yeah. Ooh, I like dictionary. Okay. Op okay. Optional. Okay. So macaron C. Macaron. 이쪽은 this person. 이쪽은. Oh no 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 no. Okay. Lemon C. Lemon C. Okay. Lemon. Because that person is my friend. Lemon. 이쪽은 this side, 이쪽은 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 마카롱 씨예요. 4. If you are close to your if lemon mm. Lemon Lemon, 이쪽은 마카롱 씨야. 인사해. Because, um, okay. 
if lemon is uh with you lemon is a bit business relationship if you have business relationship with lemon oh really you can't receive either sure okay so should i start hey 